all parties in the parliamentary election petition filed by Nupu Sredin Nyanzi, challenging Muhammad Nseko's victory on Kampala Central Member of Parliament, have appeared before Justice Margaret Opinye. However, the prime respondent in the matter, Muhammad Nseko, was absent in court. On this, the Electoral Commission lawyer, Eric Sabiti, asked court to dismiss the petition. Eric Sabiti's prayers came after notifying court that the petitioner Fred Nyanzi failed to serve the respondent Muhammad in circle the petition and that court cannot continue with the matter without the prime respondent. Justice Margaret Opini later told all parties to file written submissions in this application upon which court will best to deliver the ruling on notice. The petitioner Fred Nyanzi was not happy with court directives. And this is the second time court is sitting and is not appearing. He's just sending lawyers. Electoral Commission answered in time, they replied, they defended themselves, they responded to the law. Uh, we don't know why really they are now acting for the third respondent who has been stubborn and has refused to, to fight in his defense up to now. Nyanzi also accused the Electoral Commission's legal team for defending Mohammed in Seleko in this matter. We are afraid that the Electoral Commission is uh, appearing not to be impartial. It is, uh, it is uh, tending to be one-sided. It is acting for the third respondent, who is Muhammad Nsereko, which is wrong by law. The Electoral Commission is supposed to defend itself on its own irregularities, not for Nsereko Muhammad, who breached electoral laws. Earlier this year, Justice Rip Odoki dismissed Fred Nyazi's application seeking to serve Muhammad Nsereko's petition through newspapers after he failed to certify court that he failed to trace in Sereko. Applicants prayer was to serve the third respondent by substituted service and struck all by posting it upon the court's notice board is not granted. Nantong Rebecca, UBC News.